Super quick update for you on the Land Cruiser project. Here I got the wideband installed. So if I come back a little ways, you can see uh, we were trying to find a decent spot for it, but I think this will be the best. I mean, if you're using the laptop tuning it on the passenger side, you'll be able to see it and the driver can see it. So I just decided to put it in there. It has uh, just some self-tapping sheet metal screws behind it. And uh, it so far it just has one wire, but there's another one that connects to the sensor and goes down. Uh, but for now, we just have the one, and uh, I don't know if you can really see it. There's the loom. So I finally got everything from the engine bay into one loom. This is the three-quarter inch self-closing loom off Amazon. Uh, we have uh, a grommet that we need to make a plate for because the hole is like oval, but we need to just figure out how to secure that. Anyway, it goes up underneath and into here. Uh, there you go. We just have it coming up over the side. We might drill a hole and do a grommet or something, but over the side is pretty good for right now. I just coiled up everything um, in there for now, but it's all in there. The wiring is pretty much done. We just need to get the fuel pump wired and the power wire from the mega squirt needs to go up to the fuse panel. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And run aground. Got this all tidied up. So this is our main relay. Uh, I put a ground that'll go over here onto the battery terminal. Uh, and that just grounds out this side of the relay. This is power to trigger it. And then this wire is actually, it's a, it's a quarter inch loom, but it's got a tiny, tiny little like 22 gauge wire in there. That's the actual ground that goes up into the loom for the wideband. So this is the wideband here too. So the wideband says to ground uh, back to where the mega squirt is ground. Like don't just ground to the chassis to get the best results. So the mega squirt is going to ground straight to the battery, uh, not to the block. On this one, I think we're just going to run like a big strap from here to the block and then, uh, just run the mega squirt right over to here. It'll be easy. Just run it along this edge back through here. Um, anyway, that's all grounded now, right here. And yeah, this guy, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I think I'm just gonna leave it here. Just support it or zip tie it over here or something. It honestly doesn't look that bad. Uh, last time you saw the P-clips that were installed. Probably gonna do one more P-clip right here. And uh, just loop it around, maybe pull some slack out, make it a nice gentle loop. But, yep, that's it. And our buddy works actually as a, uh, what do they call them? The technicians that make computer boards. So he's actually gonna solder on our uh, engine ground switched in 12 volt. So what's gonna happen is the 12 volt will go in and we'll just do a jumper from the switch to the 12 volt because everything will be switched over on our fuse panel. So pretty simple. Getting there. Wiring is pretty much done. Uh, just a couple more times hoping to have it started or at least have the mega squirt uh, able to mess with in just a couple days here. Uh, you guys take care.